Hey everyone, welcome back to Optimize Ebony. I wanted to give you guys a quick video on how to take subordinate cities, really how not to take subordinate cities, because uh, this actually just happened um, where someone was, was attacking an alliance mate of mine, trying to take their subs, didn't really have any troops, as you can see from this, from this report. Um, you know, no troops in in the actual city that, that they had. They already had been zeroed, um, but I was able to basically put a march in and stop this person from taking the sub. Uh, this person is not a, not a super strong player, just to be clear. Like, they would not have been able to kill my troops, uh, even, even if they had a, a good march setup, layers, whatever. You know, and it looks like they're only able to send like 664,000 troops, which you know is really not enough against the you can see the the two and a half million troops that I sent. So uh, that all aside, to take a subsidy, really you need to kill the troops that are there, and then you need to attack it. Uh, you need to attack it a total of ten. 10 plus times. Uh, there's additional research research that you can do basically to allow your your subsidy walls to have higher damage, basically take more hits to to take to you know lose the city. And so uh, but really what you're trying to do is is not send a bunch of troops every time. Like this person sent the same march you know, their full march three times and basically wiped all of their troops on me, which is, I mean, it's really sad. Like, I, I don't want to kill people like this, but I also don't want my alliance mates to lose subs. So uh, it was it was just something that I had to do here. But really, in, in the case that you're trying to take a sub, so uh, let's actually go and, and see... Uh, you know a, a, any sub on the on the map you know let's let's just go to this sub basically okay uh let's not go to that sub let's go to this this sub uh this is owned by a different player granted this player is not is has quit long long time ago so it's not it's not the, the exact same case uh but let's say this player you know had some troops and you wanted the sub. It was a good sub. It wasn't just a white Japan, uh, which you can get anywhere. Um, basically, what you want to do is instead of you would basically kill their troops. So you would scout, see what they have. Don't scout the subsidy. The, scouting the subsidy doesn't doesn't tell you anything. All that tells you is the amount of troops that are actually within this subsidy itself. So that's not going to tell you the whole amount of troops. So basically, what you would do is you would go here, you go to Monarch Detail, and go to Arrest Warrant. It looks like this this person has actually been cleared off of off of the map. So, uh, like I said, old account, whatever, not super important. Um, but yeah, you basically go here, you know, locate them, kill their troops, you know, whatever troops that they have, um, and then come back here to the sub that you want and port right next to it. So you would port right next to it, and basically you want to have a, a march set up. This is basically my my uh, boss joining preset, just has one, one mount troop. Uh, and assuming that there's no general here. If there's a general here, that means that you still need to kill the, the troops in in this subsidy. So you have to send a little bit more troops here. But if you've if you've already killed the the troops in the main city, it should only be like you know basically that means that the sub isn't linked, um, and so uh, you need to send a little bit of troops to kill basically what what troops have generated within that sub city. But once once that that general is gone, um, I, let me let me just show you kind of what it looks like to have a general here. Um, uh, let me just find someone. Yeah, so you'll see subordinate city mayor here. 
uh, and it'll have a general here. If it doesn't have a general here, that means that those troops in that subsidy will not fight. And so then when you get to that point, you just hit your your preset here and you know you march you and you you hit this preset as many times as you have marches as fast as you can so i can take a, a, a subsidy in like 30 seconds because basically i send six marches at it and then another four to six marches at it and then it's mine so uh it's basically just as quick as you can send it so it's not important to send a general, you know, once once you've cleared the troops, nothing's fighting your your troops. You can just send one troop. You actually don't really want to send a general because if someone does rain it, then your 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 generals can die. Uh of course if someone rains it, then you have to go back and try and either kill their troops or or you know, give up. In the case of of the person that was trying to take the sub tonight, they basically gave up because they ran out of troops and they didn't want to heal and they they couldn't kill my troops anyways. But so basically, what would happen if we on on our server we're not we're not a nap server, so we can attack each other. Uh, basically, there's <laughs> uh, I wish there was a little bit more co cooperation, but uh, unfortunately there isn't. So we we can basically go and uh kill any any other player that we want take their sub um and so basically what we would do for a big big player is we would rally them kill all their troops and then go after subs like immediately after we we kill them usually there's some people who will who will go after the resources in the in the account and then some people will go after the subs uh, I'm a big fan of going for subs instead of resources unless they don't have any subs that I want. Uh, but you can always use, you know, good farming subs, good uh, PVP subs, you know, whatever. Uh, but a lot of times, what will happen is if you if it if they're actually part of a good alliance, is that uh, even though this might this might show no no general here, if it if the person has their subs linked and someone rains them uh they're they those troops are still gonna still gonna battle and so uh basically you know if you're if you're trying to save a sub you know rain the person uh so that they can't solo you they can't you know they'll have to rally you uh and that just makes it a little bit harder to to take the sub usually you'll still be able to take the sub you know because you'll you'll be able to rally rally the troops, kill all those troops, and then and then kind of go back to to sending sending more marches at the at the sub, or the people will pull their troops. But yeah, if you're I mean if you're sending marches out after marches and you know uh, again, not full marches, one troop at it and it keeps keeps, you know attack loss then you need to investigate you know what's what's going on so usually i i try and you know go as fast as i can and send as many marches as possible but i do check to see okay like is this an attack one is this an attack lost uh and then you know if it's attack lost see if see how many rains there are in there uh sometimes you'll have to go back and scout the main the main city if it's a really good sub if it's you know someone on a really good alliance a lot of times you'll have to basically coordinate with your alliance members someone will will go will basically station by the keep and will um and will kill any rains that that come in uh and then one one or multiple people will be by the subsidy and you know they'll they'll be attacking the sub and and so you can kind of co coordinate back and forth there um yeah i i think yeah it's that's that's basically how how I go about taking subs. Don't send a full march. Don't you know if you have to kill some troops in the sub itself, send a small march. You know or or if you know that no one's going to be able to reign and win against you, you can send a full march there. But don't keep sending full marches because you know there you can always get caught. There's I mean you 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 always run the risk of someone reigning against you or multiple people reigning against you 
and you losing your attack, you killing a bunch of your own troops, and that's just not worth it. You know, for for a sub when you can accomplish the same thing by just, you know, sending one troop at at it over and over again and and winning it. So yeah, so that's that's how you take a sub. Don't don't be like the guy on my server. Play it smart and you'll be able to get some get some good subs that way. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe. I'm almost to my subscription goals, so if you can help me out with that, uh, please do subscribe on that, uh, and I'll see you in the next video.